what are the best high mileage cars you can buy in the UK? And what is going to get you to 500,000 miles? Now, in theory, yes, everything will get you there if it's well maintained. But what are the most reliable cars to do that? In today's video, we explore that. And I'm Cars with Ben. So if you like car content, let's jump straight into today's video. You may have heard of stories like this guy who have had cars that have reached a million miles in pickup trucks, such as this guy who had a Nissan Frontier in the US, or maybe it was in a van. But what cars can actually do that? And we know that taxi drivers go very far, but can they actually reach 500,000 miles? So today, I want to see which those cars are and would I recommend them? At number one, we have the very well received and very well talked about across many car companies the Skoda Octavia. Now this literally can be pretty much any model frankly because most of these will exceed well over 200,000 miles and will definitely get you to 500k. Even the old ones back 20 years ago. Now Skoda for whatever reason as we know have some of the most reliable cars out there. Now this is why a lot of cabbies use them because they have not only the great reliability but they have huge boot space the diesel engines typically run for a very long time and if you maintain them there's a lot of choices from 1.6 to 2 liters and because they're tdis they're very good now a lot of people don't like diesels but skoda have a really good way of looking after their cars and quite frankly this will get you to 500k very easily well it's absolutely no surprise to anyone yes there is a toyota on this list and it is the prius slash prius whatever you want to call it now i don't really like these things but they can look cool they can look like this occasionally so really what is great about these well they will go again very much to private hire taxi of choice and uber drivers love this thing primarily because it has a battery pack and especially in the newer ones that allows you to go very very far without having to spend any money on petrol now that's the, not the only reason of course it's a toyota so it has a lot of reputation for reliable and long-lasting cars and being a toyota owner myself i can definitely vouch for that but having never driven a Prius, it's really difficult to say. But these are great in towns, and they actually look like this nowadays, if you're interested in the Prius. The main reason is that it's just a Toyota. There's not really much you can say other than this is literally a taxi in every main city, major city across the world. And Toyota know what to do with that hybrid engine. So it pretty much will cover those 500,000 miles if you're into that and want to get something that can go that far. At number three, we have the Mazda MX-5. Now, a lot of people will be very familiar with this. I actually had one of these myself and I've had the Mark II. And now I can confirm that this car definitely will go for many miles. And you probably weren't expecting this car to be on the list. And to be fair, not many have have really probably made it to 500,000 miles. However, I believe this one might. Now, Master MX-5 engines are the most reliable engines ever. And if you remember my video, they're one of the most reliable cars you can buy from a, an overall score of 93.3% on what car? Now, a lot of people also claim that the rust will kill it before the actual mileage will. So all MX-5, generally speaking, are going to make it to 500k. At number four, we have the Ford Mondeo, Britain's most trusted car throughout the years. And for many years, it's ad adopted and evolved, and we've had very quite a few different models over that time. But it's fair to say that the Mondeo, in pretty much any form, will cover almost 500,000 miles, if not more. It's fair to say that a lot of these cars have been used as company cars, ex-police cars, or maybe even just the fat home cars that can just go for hundreds of thousands of miles and 300,000 miles out of this car is not unheard of as you can see here there's a few that i found over 100,000 miles but i'm sure there are many there a lot of the ford mondeos on the, this list from pretty much the early days to the, the the newest today are great the production lines that they run in ford were just fantastic and actually noted as some of the best high mileage cars you can buy out there for so many reasons i really like the ford mondeo because not only is it a great car but it lasts uh, ages and reliability in these cars and pretty much any ford for that matter thanks to the tdci engines and engineering and finally at number five we have the Vauxhall astra now this is probably another car that is represented by britain and again it's another car that a lot of taxi drivers might use a lot of company cars that would be used for this car so a lot of them typically always cover more than 100,000 miles and often can make it to 500,000 miles and it's not just restricted to just one Astra a lot of Vauxhalls are well known for their high mileage as you can see here from some of the previous Astras that may reached over 150,000 miles now you might remember actually in one of my videos I said this was one of the most unreliable cars and that is true but it's not the engine the car will actually do the miles it's just so in fault with the car so 
in a way, this car still will make it. And the more you care for any car, really, the more you should get there. So, and not forgetting Vauxhall's production line being very, very healthy. Of course, they were also used as a top gear car. And it was also used as police cars across the country and still is. So that is something to bear in mind. And finally, I just want to finish off with really any car should make 100, 500,000 miles if you look after it and do the maintenance as proven with quite a lot of cars. But these are some of the best brands and models you can buy that will get there. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on the high mileage troopers that will get you to 500k. I hope you've enjoyed this video in any way and if it's been somewhat educational or enjoyable, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe because I make weekly car content. And we are growing, like I said, the channel is getting bigger, we're going to become a huge car community. I can't wait for you to be a part of it. See you in the next one.